We're talking about the Apollo High Energy Laser Weapon from Australian defense company Electro Optic Systems. And this thing is an absolute game changer. Imagine a swarm of 200 enemy drones, a terrifying futuristic nightmare descending on a position to overwhelm traditional defenses. Now imagine a system that can sit there, powered by its own internal battery, and take every single one of them out without ever needing to reload. That's not science fiction anymore. That's Apollo. This is a battlefield-ready beast already sold to a NATO country. We're looking at a 100 kilodollar class laser that can actually push up to a staggering 150 kilodollars of raw power, all packed into a standard 20-foot shipping container. Two emitter units stick out the top, and this thing has a 360-degree field of fire. It can lock onto and slew across a 60-degree arc in just 700 milliseconds, engaging up to 20 small drones a minute. Its kill range is 3 kilometers, but it can disable the sensors of a target from an insane 15 kilometers away. That means it can blind a drone long before it even knows what hit it. It has its own internal power supply. If the mains go down in a conflict, this thing doesn't just shut off. It's a self-contained guardian that can run on its own juice to engage those 200 drones before needing a recharge. Hook it up to a primary power source, and it becomes a perpetual motion machine of destruction, firing indefinitely. It's designed to counter the ultimate asymmetric threat, the cheap, disposable drone swarm, with the ultimate asymmetric answer, a weapon that costs literal dollars per shot instead of millions for a missile. As the CEO of EOS said, the demand for this is urgent and accelerating. This is about changing the calculus of modern warfare, providing a scalable economical shield against emerging threats. And being ITAR free means it's available for allies around the world to adopt and integrate into their own defenses. The age of directed energy weapons isn't coming. It's here. The Apollo laser is online, and it just redefined the entire concept of air defense.